This is Daniel Mazzone. He went from being a homeless teen living on the streets to now being one of Toronto's most sought after artists. Daniel's large scale, vibrant and intricately detailed collages are being commissioned by millionaire collectors, corporations, baseball stars, including Toronto Blue Jays, Jose Bautista and Marcus Stroman. Daniel joins me now in studio. Thank you so Thanks much for, for being here. Pleasure. Thanks. Uh, so you never had any formal training as an artist? Uh, no, not, not any uh, formal training, just training from my mother when I was a kid. And she, uh, she had taught porcelain, uh, she did porcelain classes and stained glass, so I just sort of learned a lot of stuff like that. And, but most of it's been, you know, just yeah. learning on my own. So, so, so you had that in the background. Yeah. And then meanwhile, you had this crazy circuitous route to get right. to where you are, including being yeah. a mortgage broker at one point? I was, I was a mortgage broker, but... Uh, you know, I did well. It just wasn't for me. You know, I think. Uh, well, you're an artist, right? How yeah, I was an artist, but I I hadn't done it for so long that yeah. I think, um, you know, I sort of forgot about it along the way, and I, I kind of lost my way in the sense that I thought I needed a job that you know made money. You know, so I did something that I didn't really enjoy. So talk to me about your inspiration then, because all these pieces are so intricate and they're right. so unique. And I've got to say, it's. I mean, we've got a couple of them coming up here. Where does this inspiration come from? Uh, well, a lot of them, uh, you know, you know, it's just everyday life things you experience, and a lot of them you'll see have have some stuff to do about dreams. A lot of the celebrity stuff, it's uh, you know, celebrities that you know went through hardship and you know and persevered and and you know went through a tough life and and made something of it, and I find that inspiring for myself. And then a lot of the other stories that I tell will be, uh, I love history, you know, history has a lot to do with where we are now. Yeah. Well, everything to do with it. So I love collecting old newspapers. I have newspapers from, you know, about Napoleon or presidents. And so I have newspapers that are 300 years old. Even. You've got, um, you know, sports icons, uh, popular culture references, uh, uh, political um, heroes uh, uh, that, that, that you, you, you work on. Um, do you have a goal with each piece? Is, is the goal for each piece different? Uh, well, no, I think the goal is generally the same with all of them. Uh, you know, whether it's a person or uh, a picture, there's always a story and a theme to the picture. All the materials that I use inside the artwork will tell a story. Like, uh, you know, for instance, I did a picture of Napoleon, but there was, uh, you know, ripped pictures of a love letter his wife wrote, and then wow. pictures of gold francs, and then... Uh, you know, newspapers from 260 years ago about Napoleon. So everything tells a story, so. Uh, the, the artwork is quite large. So talk to me about nuts and bolts here. How long does it take for you from, from conception to final execution? I usually work on a couple at a time. So I'm, you know, collecting stuff and thinking about ideas about the next one while I'm working on. But generally, you know, it, can, it ranges. I mean, they're pretty big. So about 100, 100 hours, 200 hours, depends. And is the process different from, you know, when you have uh, an idea on your own versus, say, a commissioned piece? The, well, no, it's, uh, the process is generally the same. Uh, the only thing is it's a little bit more stressful sometimes to do, and exciting to yeah. do a commissioned piece, because usually people will say, you know, we like your artwork, do whatever you want. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> usually sometimes what, what I want may not be what, the, what they like, but... It's always yeah. been an amazing experience because well, usually when I drop it off, it's more than they expected, right? So do, it works out. <laughs> do you have a favorite piece that you've ever, of all the pieces you've ever done? I do so many different genres of, of the artwork that there, there are favorites, but not one in particular. No, it's like trying to pick your favorite kid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so what's, what's your next project? Because we were talking during the break about you know, you've got shows down right. in Miami. Like, you must have so many irons in the fire right now. Uh, I'm working. I'm put, trying to put a, get together a show for Toronto before I do my Art Basel show in Miami. I do one there every year. I just finished a show in New York, so it's pretty busy. And then I hope to do some in Europe. After that, you know the look on your face. You're the, it's the look of a, a man satisfatisfied with life. I'm happy. You should. Well, congratulations. <laughs> We're glad to talk to you today. Thanks. All right. Thanks all the best.